Hi, this is Newson from New Horizons. Today we'll be looking at how we can apply style headings, like heading 1s and heading 2s to different paragraphs, and how we can use a navigation pane to navigate through those headings in a very long document. Before we get started, what we need to do is get some dummy text in here. Now I did do a previous lesson on how to do some dummy text, but what you need to do is type in equals rand, open bracket, and this will be five sentences of ten paragraphs each. I should hopefully get about two something pages. Five sentences, ten paragraphs each, and there we go. That's that rand thing. Let me just undo that. Just to, so equals rand five comma ten, and then I need to press return after the last bracket, and then it automatically puts that in. Now going back to headings, I've got some text. I want to put in some headings, so I'm going to put. This is my first heading here. I haven't applied that heading one style yet. I'm going to apply it in a minute. Um, I'm going to apply on this page. This is my last heading. I'm going to apply just here. I'm just going to press return here. This sh should be a heading two. Okay, now to apply the headings, very simple. Click in the paragraph, no need to highlight, click on heading one, done. Another way, I'm going to do it again, but this time click in the paragraph, but right click, go to styles, and select heading two. Right, another way, I'm going to make this my last heading, it's going to be heading one. What I'm going to do, I'm going to, there's a, there's a shortcut key I can use for applying headings. Alt control one will apply heading one. Alt control two will apply heading two, I've just applied it. Alt control three will apply heading three. We'll go back and apply Alt, Control, and the number one to apply the heading one paragraph. Now, what's the advantage of having these headings? Well, when you apply these headings, you should see, I've turned on, by the way, I didn't mean to click there, I've turned on my Show Hide button. And that shows me that these are heading, these little blocks, very useful, your Show Hide, that, that's a paragraph mark that shows me my paragraph. Now, what I can do here is um, I can go to View, I can go to the navigation pane and in the navigation pane it shows me the headings in the paragraphs. So this is a it's my heading one, it's my heading two, that's my last heading. Okay. Another thing we can do, this has got a little arrow next to it, which means there's a subheading below, a heading two, and I can collapse them. Yeah? Click on that plus there to open it back up. Also I can right click and I can actually I can actually either demote or promote my headings if I wanted to. I'll do that for heading two. If I go there and I d promote it, it will become a heading one and there's no arrows there. I can also go back to it and demote it. I can right click and do a new heading before that heading. Right, and it's we've got a blank here to say that that's a heading one. And I can actually delete that if I want to. I can select the heading, if we go here, I'm right clicking, select heading and content. Right, so it's selecting that heading and its content. I can click on the last heading to get rid of that. And there's another feature here where I can print heading and content. I can expand all and collapse all. So it's expanded at the moment, but collapse all, that heading two's disappeared. I can go here and I can show the heading levels. Right? So I can say it's actually only showing head heading one. What I can do is go back to showing all and it will show me my heading two. That's with the navigation pane on in the first button here, browse the headings in your documents. Very useful if you get a very long document to put the headings in. How did we put the headings in again? Very simple, very straightforward. Go back to the heading one here. We can either use home, right, home, and what I can do is click on heading one. I can make this a heading two by clicking on it. Click back on heading one, that's heading one. I don't need to highlight anything. If I want to make this last one a heading three, the other way I can do it is right click go to styles, hover over here and put on heading 3. There can be up to 9 headings as you've seen. So heading 3. And if I go to this now and go collapse all, it will just show me the heading ones. And if I go expand all, it will show me them. If I want to close the navigation pane, I can either go to view, uncheck it, or click the X here. Uncheck navigation pane gets rid of it. Turn it back on view, navigation pane. Remember, if I want to assign a heading using the keyboard shortcut, Alt, Control, and 1 
will assign a heading 1, Alt Control and 2 will assign heading 2, and Alt Control and 3 will assign heading 3. I hope that helps, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.